Hi, in this video I'm looking at calculating the volume of these two cylinders. Now the volume for any prism is area times height, and a cylinder is a circular based prism. It has a circular that circle that is constant all the way down from one end of the cylinder to the other, and that makes it a prism. Any prism has a constant shape from one end to the other. So let's have a look at doing our first cylinder, and we'll have a look its area is this circle at the top here. So we're going to have area, and the area of a circle is pi r squared. And we've got this circle here, which has a radius of 14. So we're going to have pi times by our radius squared. Our radius is 14 squared. And so the area of our circle is 615.75 centimeters squared. We then need to work out volume by taking that area and multiplying by height. Our height is the 20 centimeter height that's given there. So we're going to have 615.75 multiplied by 20, giving us a volume of our first cylinder to be 12,315.04 centimeters cubed. Having a look at our second one, we've got a much bigger circle sitting on top here that we're going to use for our area, but we've been given diameter. That's the diameter. So we need to divide that by 2 to get radius. So our radius is 5.4 divided by 2. So we're going to have a radius of 2.7 meters. Should be a 7. And so if we work out the area, which is pi times radius squared, so we're going to have pi times by 2.7 squared. And so the area of our top circle is 22.90 meters squared. Then going to our volume rule, which is that area times the height. So we're going to have 22.9 multiplied by our height here, which is the 3 meters. So we get a volume of 68.71 meters cubed. And that's it. We're done. So the volume of a cylinder is still found by the volume of a prism rule, area times height. You can shortcut a little because we do have pi r squared as our area. So you can put that into there and get a volume rule as pi r squared times height. And you can use that as a rule for a cylinder, but it's easy enough just to remember any prism is area times height. We can work out the area, we know those quite well, we just multiply by height.